Hi, and welcome to the Morning Shred. I'm Jenna. I've got Tim here from Rosingle. Uh, today we're going to talk about the Rosy One MagTech. Tim, who's this board really designed for? Um, me. This is <laughs> this is my favorite board in the line. Um, I'll go on record saying that. But I'd say, Jenna, really, it's it's for that intermediate uh, to that pro level rider. I'd say this in our line is really the true quiver killer. Um, now that's why I think I ride it. You know, instead of going out west and dragging four boards, this board really is, is one that can do it all. It's um, it's a directional twin, um, but it's got all mountain amp tech with magnet traction. Put that together, you got mag tech. This thing is is an amazing snowboard. So let's talk a little bit about all mountain amp tech before we go into the magnet traction. Sure, sure. All mountain amp tech. Um, essentially, what we're doing there is is you know there's a lot of rocker out there, and what we're doing is, and our belief is, we're going to put a little bit of camber. We feel you have to have some sort of camber, and that makes the board a little bit more stable. Also gives a little bit more energy. But we're putting 1.5 millimeters of camber in between the feet. And essentially, kind of about where the bindings insert pack is, we're going to start to rock or early rise the tip and tail, get those out of the snow, easier turn initiation exit, softer landings, phenomenal float and powder. Um, really, it's kind of combining the best of both worlds. Absolutely. And then let's talk a little bit about magnet traction because that's probably my favorite part of this board. Um, I love riding magnet traction boards, and it's great that you guys have it on the one mag. Yeah, it's it's phenomenal, and and basically what we're doing, what it does to the snowboard, is it connects the two edges, and so really when you when you're riding along, you don't have to get that board up to this type of level to really get that edge engaged. As you know, you ride magnet traction, all you have to do is kind of get it up, and it starts to to pull you in. It gives you just, it gives you the best edge hold possible, no so, doubt about it. So it's probably a little bit hard to see, but essentially on the side cut, you're almost getting a wave to it, so it's giving you more contact points with the snow, correct? Yep, seven points of contact opposed to two. Yeah, so one of the things that I've always really liked about magnet traction is you can put it on a board that's maybe mid-flex and you're still going to get that edge hold. The board itself isn't going to be nearly as demanding as a very, very stiff board. Absolutely. Um, but you can take it on ice and you still get, you know, you don't feel that chatter in the board. You're, you're maintaining edge hold the entire time. No, exactly. And I think that's kind of the, the joy of having magnet traction is, you know, you maybe take a, a trip out west and you don't get snow. You may be on hard pack all day. That thing's still going to be a blast to ride. And, and if you get in soft snow, still a blast to ride so absolutely and I think it's great to see it on a rising board um, you're gonna see my traction on GNU and LibTech boards all the time but um, maybe you've got a customer who's looking for something a little bit um, a little more all mountain friendly something they can take just everywhere on the mountain um, take outside of the park stuff yep. like that yep and then also the one mag tech uh, core wise we're gonna use a wood core uh, reinforced with carbon and Kevlar so it's got a lot of punch in there we're gonna use a high end centered base on this one as well and it comes in regular and mid wide Awesome. And I think one of the misconce misconceptions, just to jump back to the magnet traction for a little while, is sure. that um, if you get on a box or rail, you're just going to instantly catch because you have all those extra contact points. Now, is that the case? No, I think a lot of people, it allows you to kind of detune it a mm -hmm. little bit um, and, and allow that, that board to slide no problem without hanging up. But if you do go back onto the hard pack, it's there for you. You, you, you don't, it, there's, there is no lose. It's a win-win. Rather than on a traditional side cut board, you tune it down and you get anywhere outside of the park and you're not going to be able to hold your edge. Exactly. Great. Well, uh, again, this is the Rising Hill 1 MagTech. I think it's an awesome board for your intermediate to advanced level rider looking for something they can just kind of take everywhere, looking for a board that has great edge hold, tons of response, um, tons of pop. Um, I'm Jenna. This is Tim. Thanks again for watching the morning show.